Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. This video is a beginner's guide to download and install VirtualBox from their official website. After watching the entire video, anyone will be able to download and install VirtualBox onto a Windows 10 PC without any errors. That is the desired outcome of this video. The purpose of VirtualBox is to extend the capabilities of computer systems so that they can run multiple operating systems inside multiple virtual machines at the same time. Oracle VirtualBox is a free and open source application and it's also known as a cross-platform virtualization application. What does that mean? For one thing, it can be installed on modern Intel or AMD based computer systems, whether they run Windows, Mac, Linux, Solaris, and Open Solaris. As an example, VirtualBox allows Windows and Linux to run on a Mac at the same time. In addition, a user can run Linux on Windows PCs and vice versa, all alongside existing applications. VirtualBox allows as many virtual machines as desired. The only practical limits are disk space and memory. The official website URLs will be added in the description below the video. Do not install software from any other sources except from the official website which is virtualbox.org. Take time to download and read the beginner's guide as well as the detailed user manual in the links below. On the VirtualBox website, certain recommendations are made in order to install VirtualBox on the host system of choice. The desired use and intent will determine how much memory and disk space to use for VirtualBox. The guest OS also plays a role in that decision. This video will show how to install VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. Future videos will show users what choices are available for the next step in this journey. Feedback and comments on this video as well as ideas on future videos are highly appreciated and welcome. As the old saying goes, the only dumb question is the question that doesn't get asked. There will also be a video on how to use basic Unix and Linux commands within the various operating systems that will be demoed. Please watch those videos starting with the beginner's video on Linux commands to avoid getting overwhelmed with Linux. In summary, Oracle VirtualBox is an application that can be installed on most modern computer systems. It is used to run any supported operating system within a virtual environment with little to no risk to the host operating system. There's a caveat to that, and that is if set up correctly. Only download from the official virtualbox.org website. Before moving on to the next steps, download and read the user manuals from the website. Watch the next series of videos, starting with the Linux for Beginners video. After that, the next steps will be to watch the videos that I make on the most commonly used Linux operating systems. The three that I will be showcasing are Linux Mint, Ubuntu, and Kali Linux. If you like the Windows look and feel where you can use a mouse and be able to have a user interface, that is what are the strengths of the application or the OS known as Linux Mint. Ubuntu is a little bit similar, but not quite as user friendly, not quite as pretty on the eyes. And then lastly will be Kali Linux, which is definitely not intended for the faint at heart, and it is not for the beginner. It's a operating system that is designed specifically for people with uh, information security uh, 
background and it is used primarily to learn how to hack into systems for good reasons which are known as white hat hackers and then also by some people who are known as black hat hackers who have bad intentions. I will not be making a video on how to use Kali Linux. This particular series of videos is simply how to install VirtualBox and then compare and contrast the three different Linux based operating systems and how to install them. There are plenty of videos on YouTube if you want to learn how to use any one of those three uh, operating systems once they've been installed. So for that reason, this series of videos will not show you how to use them, simply how to install them. Without further ado, let's get started and let me show how to install VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. The first thing we want to do is type in the website for VirtualBox, which is www.virtualbox.org and make sure it's ORG and not anything else besides that suffix ORG. Once you get to their website, you'll see a big green button in the middle of the screen with the version number that's the latest version. Go ahead and click on that green box when you're ready. Look on the left hand side, you have several options such as documentation. I highly recommend you spend some time looking at the documents. They've got very good documents that they've made for the beginner, the moderate user as well as the advanced user who needs the technical documentation. So spend some time there. I'm going to go ahead and click on downloads and we'll see the options for the VirtualBox platform packages based on the version number that's out there. You have the Windows hosts or you can do the Linux distributions as well depending on your um, operating system. So I have a Windows computer that I'm using so I'm going to click on Windows hosts for the platform package that I want to download and that kicks off the download process and it takes a few seconds uh, sometimes it can take a minute or two depending on how fast your internet is once that's done go ahead and click on the exe file that was downloaded and that will then bring up a box that says the setup wizard is ready to start so go ahead and click next on that pop-up and just take all the defaults including where it's going to be installed on your computer unless you know what you're doing and then go ahead and click next take all the check boxes leave those checked and then click next again the next screen is going to show you the network interfaces are going to be turned off temporarily while it's proceeding with the installation say yes that's fine so you can complete the installation and then install one more time and then it brings up the setup screen let that finish it takes a few seconds it doesn't take very long and the last pop-up you'll see is that the installation is complete go ahead and click finish and that brings up the actual virtual box manager which is pretty easy on the eyes it's really nice and, and, and nifty I think um, and you'll have the different drop-down options such as import appliance export appliance which we can talk about in future videos there's also the option in the machine drop-down where you can click on new or add one of the prerequisites is you're going to install or download the ISO for the operating system that you want to install within VirtualBox. At this point you're done with the installation of VirtualBox and in future videos that I make for you I'm going to show you how to pick up from this point and moving forward you'll install the actual ISO file of the operating system that you want to install within VirtualBox and that's where we'll pick up in a future video. Well, that's another video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I definitely appreciate any comments and feedback that you might have so I can make future videos for you. Until the next one, have a great day.